Welcome to this presentation on reservation pick and pack. For pick and pack process, we need a bin warehouse, our mobile solution, and hard reservations of goods. The Bears reservation system is completely separated from the SBO reservation function. Let's have an example. We create a customer order with a batch related item. Via right click menu, reservation, we can reserve goods for this customer order. Left below in this screen, the available stock is displayed, sorted by bin location, withdrawal rules. First the allocation warehouse, then standard warehouses, followed by all other warehouses. Now we reserve some goods. It is possible to take them from different warehouses. Just enter the number and the reservation is done. On the right, the allocations are displayed. We still have a requirement of two pieces, so let's take another two. Now we have reserved a sufficient quantity, the barrel turns green and we can create a delivery note by pressing this button. A bare screen opens because currently the data API is not available from SAP to generate reservations. Creating this delivery note in the background, the reserved goods are charged off automatically. These batches on the right are firmly linked to our customer order. They cannot be charged off with any other customer order they cannot be consumpted by a work order and also no manual posting is possible. For this batch, all postings related to a different document type are blocked. Via SBO delivery, a delivery is still possible, but then you need to select the batches manually. In the reservation list, all reservations are displayed. You can manage them, check, edit or delete. Now let's have a look in the order recommendation report. We have five pieces reserved. Which are subtracted from stock. And these two columns here, indicating the warehouse stock. The first is showing the physical stock. The second, the available stock less reservation. In this case, 44. The balance calculation down there starts generally from the available stock, so from 44. In the balance list, see an inflow of 49 plus the stock of 44 is 93 in total. The reserved goods are subtracted at first. Now in this line we have the customer order with an outflow of 5, but the balance does not change because it refers to the reserved goods. The reservation had been deducted at first. It is not available for other orders. That's why the balance is not affected. And we have there a negative balance because goods are assigned to a future customer order.